Tira had his Rangers on the top five list to, yeah. to win it all earlier in, in the week. Corey Seager and the guy behind you, Marcus Semien, a big reason why. I was talking to Nays. We were talking about how $500 or $500 million on both of those guys. They were 60 and 102, and then bam, now the Rangers are in first place, Dero. Yeah, complete culture changer, Lauren. Wow. And I, I know they lost last night, but you're going through the research packet. Our research department does an amazing job. Eric Nays and his cronies back there. Nate, the they crony. kill it. They kill it every day, honestly, reading through it. And Marcus Simeon has been on a run. He broke up the no-no last night. Reed Detmers was on fire. And I just feel like when you look at the Texas Rangers, the reason I believe in them, obviously, Max Scherzer's throwing the heck out of the ball. They get a healthy Evaldi back. They've cleaned up the pen a little bit, but their lineup doesn't stop. And it starts with this guy at the top. Talk about setting the tone. We can get into a front end right here, and then we're going to bring up some boards. But we talk about the Atlanta Braves. They don't worry about load management. Those guys are showing up to the park. They're not even looking at the lineup anymore. Marcus Simeon, pause this. He's not looking at the lineup. Bring up the first board, Devin. Look at the games played since 2019. He's number one in the sport. He shows up every day for the team. I can't tell you, you want to meet a great teammate, the definition of it, the same guy walks in the clubhouse every day, regardless of if he's three for 30 or 20 for 30. It's the same guy who shows up. The best players in the game are available all the time. He's fourth in hits, third in runs. Chipper Jones always used to say, biscuits in the basket. Knock runs in and score runs. That's how you win ball games. That's what he does. Total bases, he's third, and war, he's first. So I wanted to dive in and give him some love because he came over seven years, 175 million. And when you go and dive into his history, Chicago White Sox traded him and Chris Bassett for Jeff Samarja Ooh. back in the day. He ends up going to Oakland. Then he takes the one-year deal in <coughs> Toronto and sets the record for most home runs by a second baseman, moved from shortstop over to second and hit 45 home runs on a one-year deal. So pretty amazing what he's been able to do last four full seasons. Take a look. Let's lock in on 2022, 161 games. He had 26 bombs, 107 weighted runs created plus. But you take a look at this. We talk about this all the time. Nick Castellanos, Trey Turner, guys on big deals going to a new ballpark, especially Globe Life that plays big. They scuffle early. He got off to a terrible start, but he ended up with 26 homers and a 128 weighted runs created plus over his last 127 games. So the same player. Let's go into his side by side because he showed up stiff early. He's always got a little stiff in his game. He presents a little stiff, but I dove in on an article he did on fan graphs and he talked about being a handsy hitter. He talked about getting on par with the best fastball that guy has that night. So run this. This is him scuffling when he first came over. A little stiff, definitely a little bit more athletic and upright in 2023, and he has been on fire ever since. Little side angle right here. Run that back for me real quick. You want to talk about being handsy. Starts with a wide base, run it. Pause. Talk about getting a load. You think he's stacked on the inside of his, inside of his back knee right there? I don't love the elbow up. You see certain guys do that. I think it creates stiff moves. Carlos Correa, Alex Bregman, but they're super successful. There's not one way to do it. Run it. The hands will get there if the lower half's on time. Pause. Mm. Man, perfect balance. Deliver a blow to a baseball. Watch him manipulate his hands. This pitch is way inside. Run it. Pulls his hands in and gator arms this down the left field line for a bomb. Pretty special ball player. Culture changer, we're gonna get into this. His swing decisions have been unbelievable. That's been the difference for him. He talks about being on par with the best heater. I said that best heater a guy has that night and it allows him to calibrate off speed as well and spit on it. Bring up the board comparing him to Tucker real quick before we get in to the heater. Swing decision comparison, Marcus Simeon, Kyle Tucker. He'd be fighting for the AL MVP if it wasn't for Shohei. So they swing 71, 72 percent of the time on stuff inside the zone. They don't chase and their whiff percentage is down. It's the only two players 
with a Z swing percentage above 70%, a chase below 23%. Hmm. And he handles high velocity. That's what he says he's on. A lot of guys in the game on high velocity. Run it. Our 92 to 94 when I was up in the 90s, early 2000s is now their 96 to 98. You better be able to get to it and get to it in off the plate. And he's able to do that consistently as good as anybody. Ooh. I mean, that's Bobby Miller. We chronicled him yesterday. 97 middle middle. And how does he work on it in the offseason? This is a drill I'm seeing a lot of guys do. Those are foam baseballs. So you know you have to clip it perfect. It's at high velocity, and he's trying to take his hands to the baseball right there. And what does that do? If you're ready, Carlos Pena talked about all the time, being on time for their best heater allowed me to spit on the nasty breaking stuff, but it allowed me to hammer the stuff that was in my zone in the middle of the plate. So he's handling the velocity and the off speed. Pretty special player. Most home runs on 96 plus since the start of 2021. There he is at the top of the list. Dansby, Swanson, Vladdy, Juan. So just doing a lot, of, look at JD on the back end of that. Just doing a lot of, thing, a lot of things really good and kind of change. I mean, Corey Seager, he's battling for the MVP as well, if not for Shohei Otani. But this guy, changed, he kind of changed everything. Hands you can count on him. Lower halves on time. It's perfectly sad. You could see it in the video. Yeah, uh, he has missed nine games in the last five seasons, Dero. That is that. Uh, part of the reason his former teammate, Matt Olson, called them the, sh the machine yeah. uh, when they were in Oakland. Matt Olson's doing the same Matt thing. Matt Olson on is doing the same thing. Yeah, it, 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 it's really Riley, a shame. Ronald it Acuna. really is a shame that the Oakland A's were not able Gosh, to keep that. I mean, think about that. Olson. Chapman, Simeon, Murphy, Chapman, Murphy. Murphy. I mean, you keep those dudes. <laughs> theoretically, you're 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 battling for a pennant. Oh yeah. Wow, that's great stuff, D. Rod. All right, have, why'd you have to bring us down right there? <laughs> oh my just, gosh. <laughs> you know, it's just we nailed George Michael George and Michael Simeon. Great, honey. That's right. That's right.